Moonlight Mason, you are in violation of the Eugenia Cooney Protection Act. You will be put on display here. I just wanted to warn you. Let's talk about this, shall we? So, Moonlight Mason, many of you people don't know her. If you want to get some nice, yummy tea all the time, she's the perfect girl to go to. I like her, but at this video that she made about Eugenia Cooney, I do not appreciate. At all. Because you are just doing nothing but pulling things out of your ass, Moonlight. I'm just going to be honest with you, girl. You are pulling things out of your ass and saying things you don't know if they are true or not. See, you don't know if Eugenia's mom is this controlling person that's controlling, you know, Eugenia. You don't know if that's true or not because Eugenia never came out and said it. Jacqueline Glenn said it, though. So you're going to take whatever Jacqueline says as the gospel truth when this girl has been known to plagiarize and lie. I've known her for 13 years. I can attest to the plagiarizing and the lies. Very well, Moonlight Mason. Very well. And if you think you can get away with going and trying to go and attack and this girl and her family you are Ron because I am an iconic queen and as your goblin queen madam I am here to go and tell you what you need to hear as my loyal subject and yes I am the goblin queen you don't believe me I am the goblin queen Everyone knows I am the Goblin Queen, and that makes me iconic, bitches. So anyway, Moonlight Mason is just listening to all the shit that Jacqueline Glenn pulled out of her fucking ass. First of all, if you actually looked at the texts that Jacqueline Glenn provided, the receipts that Jacqueline Glenn provided, if you actually read them, you would know that Eugenia wasn't talking to Jacqueline for months. Which which is kind of weird how someone says, oh, they're in trouble, they're being used, they're being manipulated when the bitch hasn't talked to her for months. How did they know? For sure. And, and to say that the mother enabled Eugenia, well, we're going to have to go to every single fucking mother out there whose daughter or son suffers from anorexia or some kind of eating disorder and tell them they're being controlling and they're being enabling. How do you not know that her mother said, hey, I think there's a problem with you? I mean, she can't force her adult child to go out and get help. No one can force someone like that to do that. But yet, you're looking at Eugenia like she had absolutely no responsibility over her own choices in her own life with her disorders. Which is so completely untrue. It's like people looking at me with my borderline personality disorder and saying, I, I can't do anything with my life. I'm just an invalid. Because that's what you're acquiring Eugenia Cooney as, as an invalid who can't make any decisions for herself. Oh, I don't know if she was living alone. She has to be living with her mom. Who cares if she's living with her mom or not? Oh, oh, Jacqueline Glenn said she couldn't leave the house without having an escort. You don't know if that's true or not. You're just going off what Gla Jacqueline says. But, but, you know, Jacqueline is the pinnacle of telling the truth, even though she's been caught so many times plagiarizing. I mean, seriously, go Google it. Jacqueline Glenn caught plagiarizing. You really want to trust this bitch? Just Google it. Do a YouTube search. Jacqueline Glenn caught plagiarizing. 
Jacqueline Glenn exposed. Jacqueline Glenn caught in lies. It's all out there. It's all out there. Like I said, I've known Jacqueline Glenn for 13 years. I've seen what that girl is and who she is as a person. She certainly isn't there to benefit freaking Eugenia Cooney. She's there for clout. Because why? Just moonlight. Just think with your head. Just think. And this is to the lot of people who think that Jacqueline's some kind of grand fucking hero. Where, where is it her place as a friend from YouTube? And yeah, maybe they hang out a couple times, but a friend from YouTube, where is it her place to put a 5150 on that girl? Please, someone tell me, why is it her place? A, a practically a stranger. I don't care. Even if it's your friend that you had for a couple years, but you barely saw. Where is it her place? It wasn't her place. It wasn't her place what she was doing at all. What I saw through the text was Jacqueline Glenn was pissed off that Eugenia wasn't talking to her anymore. So she had to go and plot her little p petty revenge. I mean, the cops were freaking setting up to go and uh, arrest Jacqueline for freaking kidnapping. But yet she's this grand hero. Even though the cops saw enough evidence to arrest her for kidnapping. Come on now. Did you actually listen to what Jacqueline said? Or did you just listen to the parts that you wanted to hear? The T. The negative. It's pathetic. It's pathetic. I'm not going to stick up for Jacqueline Glenn for what she did. You know? And Eugenia... I, I went to her live stream yesterday and she said a lot of the things that this person, this bully is saying is lies and I think I'm going to have to clear it up in a video. And Eugenia Cooney, please, please make a video and clear things up about your relationship with Jacqueline Glenn because they need to know. And, and really, why is Jacqueline Glenn this massive hero? Shouldn't she be an enabler too since she's been friends with Eugenia for years and didn't say a damn thing until after Eugenia stopped talking to Jacqueline Glenn. Isn't that convenient that she did a 5150 after, after they stopped talking, but she was all right before then? Come on now. Come on now. You guys need to fucking think, dude. Think. But to go and attack her mother like that, when you don't even know if it's a fucking truth. To go say, her brother's enabling, you don't know if that's the truth or not. Jacqueline could have been greatly lying, and I'm pretty sure, about 98% sure that she is lying. Because I've seen her do this to Christians, I've seen her do this to atheists, because Jacqueline Glenn wasn't in the beauty community at first. She was in the great debate community. So she talked to people like me and all the people that, you know, usually circulate around my page. But no, no, no. Eugenia's helpless and she can't do anything by herself or make any decisions for herself. Am I right there? Is that, is that what you're going to say about a 24-year-old girl? Yeah. So anyway, quit your shit, Moonlight. Put a retraction in and tell people what you're saying is not true. It's just speculation. And you're putting it out there like it's facts. And that's fucking stupid. And that's fucked up. Because you don't know what the truth is. But I still love you, girl. But you need to be rebuked. So, peace. And Maranatha, I'm going to go to bed. I am tired. My mouth hurts like a mofo. And we're going to get this stuff, you know, put together for you. Peace.